All right, let's dive into this one. Um, we had a great trade today. This was an AMD scalp that really took a lot of time to develop. So I guess technically, I don't know if we could call it a scalp. It's sort of a sort of a violent entry followed by a lot of sort of sagging, sort of that give and take. And I'm just noticing as I'm talking, I'm getting some echo. I'm redoing the office here, so so bear with me. We'll be improving it soon, um, and the sound will get a little bit better. But what you can see here is I've got this replay. In this video, I'm going to give you the full replay breakdown on AMD on my trade this morning where I made $900, and I'm going to talk about another rule that I'm implementing into my trade plan, trade management strategy, and how it would have played out today if I would have used it and how I'm planning to use it in the future. So I know earlier in the week, if you watch this video, I'll post it up here, we got into some sort of psychological talk about managing trades, sticking to your plan, not breaking, and trying to discover gray areas of your trade setup that you haven't encountered before. Because if you haven't been somewhere before, you don't know how you're gonna react. So every time you experience something new with your trades, you have to make sure that you create rules and boundaries based on that new experience. That way, if you get there again in the future, you'll know exactly what to do. So I want to jump into this one. I'm going to hit play. I've sped this one up because it took a little bit of time. This is a long position. This is AMD. You can see right here, you know, I could replay it a little further, but I won't. I'll just kind of catch you up verbally on what happened. We were sort of hanging right here, the last 15 minute candle. As you guys know, I'm an opening range breakout trader, and I, I guess it's technically not an opening range, it's like a end of the pre-market range. I like this last 15 minute candle, and what it was doing is it was hanging down here, it wasn't doing anything at all. I think the spread or the range on the candle was about maybe 30 cents, and then all of a sudden, about a minute and a half before the open, we got this big pop up. It pushed up, dropped down, pushed up, dropped down. So I readjusted my position. And right now my, my order to go long is a stop limit order for a long play, 10 cents above the high of this candle. The high of this candle right here is 89.63. And I wanna say, I think it stayed at 63. I put my order at 73 or 74 to go long. And then I'm looking for 2.5R on the PL then I'll move my stop loss to 2R. Then I'll wait and see what happens. Now what you're gonna see in this video is I give myself the liberty to take a trade off if we are in excess of 3R. 3R with my trade setup is about $900. So you're gonna see how this plays out. Let's hit play. I won't uh, hold it up any longer. So you're gonna see this thing push around and this one took a while to develop. I wasn't sure if it was gonna go short or if it was gonna go long, and it just sort of hung out. And the benefit of this, the reason why I like not being triggered in right away is because look over here, the volume. This gives, this gives the volume time to really pick up. So we're at 872,000 shares, and the market has been open for a minute 23. Now you're gonna see right here, I'm starting to get a fill. I'm just gonna back it up a hair. All right, so here comes my fill. There you go. So I got filled at 89.75, 1,200 shares. I immediately go in to edit my stop loss because I'm waiting for the PL to show 750. When it shows 750, I'm going to fire off that new stop loss to go to 2R, which would be $600. My R value is $300 in the month of December. It was 250 in November. I'll take it to 350 in January. So you're gonna see something really interesting coming up because on the PL, we've already been in the 500s. We're gonna hit the 600s. Now I've got this ready. I'm ready to fire this as soon as it gets to 750. It gets to 629, 642 I saw. Let's see if it gets any higher than that. Then it starts to come back down. And here's the crazy part. I went from almost $700 on the PL back down to minus 160. The reason this is okay with me is because my plan says 2R greater or a full loss. It's either a full winner or a full loser. I'm not going to mess with partial profits with guessing. That doesn't achieve the goal. So right now, some people might say, ooh, I'm going to get out of this. I'm down 100 bucks. 
but I just let it ride because it's either a full loser or a full winner beyond 2R. And what you're going to see is that I keep getting down. It'll give me a little bit of profit. You can see I pop up in the low hundreds. Then it drops down. Then it pops back up. Then it drops back down. And it just keeps repeating this process until we get right here into the 600s. And right there, if I stop that, you can see we broke well above 750 and I fired off that stop loss. So I moved from my original position up to 2R, just over 2R. Now what I'm looking for is continuation to the upside. And if we get that, I'm gonna wait for this candle to close and the next one to open. And if the next candle does not stop me out and it closes, then I'm gonna move this stop loss to the low of that next candle. I wanna move bar by bar, but here's the one issue. I give myself the liberty to take a trade off if we go beyond 3R. 3R for me is $900. So what you're gonna see is a push beyond $900, and then I decide that the price action looks funny, and I take it off at 3R. I got a little bit of a move to the downside, a little slippage on my order. So I felt like I should have been filled in the mid 900s, but instead it came back on me and filled me right at 900. So we'll see that play out right here. So it pushes back up. I'm up 900, 945. We break 1,000. We're at 1,100. I'm watching. I'm thinking, let's see it surge and maybe I'll flatten. And then it just started to feel kind of kind of soft. So given that I'm above 3R, I have the liberty to take it off. So right there, you can see I just fired that off. Got a little slippage, ended up at 898.61. So a buck 39 off of $900. So it was an amazing trading day. A good 3R solid trade. But what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna flip over. So record this in your head, 90.68 is the high there. 90.68 is right there. It continued up to 91.96, what was the high on this? It went to $92, that's right. Now, if I would have gone bar, bar by bar on this, I would have moved my stop to here, which that low would have been 90.79. Then this candle put in a wick, but the low was 90.80. So technically it wouldn't have stopped me out. Then this candle would have played out and I would have put the stop loss at that low of 91.40. And so from the 91.40, this next candle opens up and would have stopped me out. So I got out at 90.50 and this was, what was this low again? 91.40, almost a dollar higher, which would have been another 4R. So this position probably should have net six and a half R if I would have gone that route but instead I had 3R. So I didn't even get 50% of what the move would have been. So I'm considering a rule, adding another rule to the trading plan, the management style that says, at no point do you take the trade off. You go bar by bar until you get stopped, which would have put me up here getting stopped. So it's something to consider. It's, it's this has been a week of discovery in terms of rules and putting boundaries on the trades. But I think what happens when you're put in situations where you have to make decisions, you have to come up with rules, you have to decide what your boundaries are, it just helps refine your trading plan, your trading strategy, and makes it so much better. So again, like we talked about on Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to learn from this. This was an amazing trade. Um, 6R would have been um, about $1,800 instead of $900. So when you look at what could have been, when you, whenever you leave money on the table, you kind of feel like, you know, you just, for a second, you give it a thought. But then as day traders, we got we to gotta wipe the slate clean. We got to have a short memory. We move on to tomorrow, last day of the week. This has been an amazing week so far. We're up 8R total. We'll move into tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Tomorrow, I won't be punching out over 3R. I'm going to change that, that rule to being you can punch out if you're above 6R. But between 3 and 6R, I got to stay in it bar by bar because a lot of them go from 3 to 4 to 5 and sometimes 6. So if we do get that surge above 6, I will allow myself the liberty 
to flatten that position. But today's trade was amazing. It worked out really well. And we just sharpened the strategy even that much more, which is great going into the rest of December. We're only 10 days in. We've got two thirds of the month left and we're already looking really, really good. We'll see how the rest of the month plays out, but we gotta stick to that. Winners have to be bigger than the losers. Don't forget that and stay consistent. If you had any trouble today trading, post a comment below, ask questions, let me know. I hope you were green today. Come back tomorrow. This was trade 110. Tomorrow, trade 111. Stop by.